My name is Sabid Pulak and I'm an AB Duke Scholar and I'm with the class of 2018. My family visits Bangladesh every one to two years uh, because most of my extended relatives live there. I noticed that uh, people just you know, pump the water out of the ground, uh, well water, and they'll drink it. And many of them already knew that there was arsenic in the water, but they really couldn't do much anything about it. And I was wondering why. And I saw that the main problem was that technology to remove arsenic existed. Uh, technology to clean water existed. But it was just that the technology was just still too expensive for the general people to afford. I had a clear aim in my mind from that point on. How could I solve that problem? I slowly started to kind of put together a design of my own. At the top of the filter, there's a layer of these special particles. They're, they're modified iron nanoparticles. What happens is when a water passes through the top, touches the iron nanoparticles, arsenic gets stuck in that layer, basically. Arsenic is grabbed by the iron nanoparticles. My filter makes use of open source parts. Other filters have patented parts in them, in which every, every filter that's being sold, there's royalties being paid on those filters, which increases the price. I feel that for a truly humanitarian product, you need to have open source parts within the product, so then it's as low cost as possible, and if people want to build upon it and improve upon it within like developing areas, it's easy for them to do so. The past two, three years, it was just research, basically. I was researching how to build and design a filter, and then I started to present the research at various places. The third place awards in environmental sciences are from Richardson, Texas, Tabit Farouk Hulak. My project focused on designing an arsenic water filter that was over 10 times cheaper than existing filters. Using the same technology in the filters, I also developed an arsenic water test that was over 1,000 times cheaper. After I got approval from like, you know, various professors that were experts in the field from these science fairs, then I realized I could move on towards implementation. I actually was able to establish a really basic manufacturing facility in Bangladesh that builds uh, these filters. The organization's name that I founded was called iCormi. Right now its main aim is to provide clean water solutions to people in need uh, through these water filters. But down the road I have a vision for iCormi to provide not only clean water solutions but also affordable solutions to other problems that people face, such as healthcare. You know, going to a country like the United States, studying in a university like Duke University, I feel that it's an obligation for us to do all do stuff like this. So if I make a positive impact, that is my intention and I, I would like to do so. Um, but I, I cannot, I would like to think that there's a lot more work to do.